I'm here with another special guest, Paula La Cocina. Paula La Cocina. For those of you who are new, this is my best friend, Paula. Aww, first time she's hugged me ever. Like it. <laughs> so Paula and I are gonna be doing the best friend tag and she has a channel by the way, so be sure to subscribe down below if you're not subscribed to her already. And if you're not subscribed to me, like subscribe to me as well. Cause yeah. Obviously. Join the Kabari crew. Why is my like hair? I think you look great, Nas. She looks fantastic. But when does Nas not look good? This is why I keep you around. Before we start the best friend tag, we just want to show you guys. Ah! Did you just drop all your paper? Yeah. We just wanted to show you guys my merch shirt. Woo! This is just two of them. There's one more. This one says face beat. This one says mama didn't raise no bitch. Which and, is true. <laughs> and this one, like, these don't have the Kavari crew on the back, but all the shirts are going to have Kavari crew on the back. And 50% of all the proceeds are going to go to UNICEF. So if you're interested in checking out my merch, I'll put a link down below for you guys. Yeah, we recycled Yasmin's costume on Paula, but... I never, I look so much shorter than you for some reason, but we're the same height. The thing is, I have a longer torso, and you have, like, longer legs, which is good. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're writing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? And... <laughs> bitch stole my lunch seat. <laughs> Why did this bitch invite me to her birthday party? You're so mean! I didn't know her. She I was <laughs> new and I wanted to make friends, so I invited you to my birthday party. That's not like true. I it was my it was her 16th birthday party. It was at Molly. This wasn't the first impression. We've known each other since eighth grade. That bitch, was I didn't know you. <laughs> my boobs are my boobs are too big for this costume. Can't really. So let me tell you guys the actual story of when I met Paula. So I moved here in seventh grade to this school district, and it was in eighth grade. It was either seventh or eighth grade, but there was these two girls I would sit with every single day. Like you know, like at lunch, you guys all have your set seats, right? Like that's just like what you guys was your know, name like, you have, carved in. I know, but seat. like like people just know who sits where, like in like middle school. I was stuff. new too. Let me tell and you. And then so I grabbed I grabbed my little lunch. I had my little tray, and I was walking to the table okay, to Miss sit Innocent. with my friends. And I see Paula's in my seat. So I so I just like sit. I don't say anything, and I like sit like at the end of the table, like far away <laughs> from my friends, and I'm like. I tell you about the first time I met her. Well, like I consciously met her. The friend of a friend of like a friend was like, Nazanin invited you to her birthday party. It was a fun birthday party. It was at a hotel. It was at the Hilton Hotel. She didn't invite me like to a big the Hilton sleepover. Hotel. The awkward oh, part no, no. is that she invited me to the dinner. There was a we dinner before the hotel present. sleepover. And then everyone's like, what about this like awesome hotel like party? I wasn't invited. I was so, I was just sitting there. I was like, why this bitch invite me to her birthday? <laughs> I was so bad. <laughs> to think like a year later. You just have like, right, now we're like sisters. Right. Literally. I'm ready. Eight, one, two, go. You can do this. Slim thick, bitch. I put booty. Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. <laughs> Done. I wrote a lot. Okay, ready? Go. Beard. That, <laughs> yes. If you didn't have a beard, I'm not talking Bye. about it. I put for you Latin, muscular and tall, and can dance. Can dance. 110%. See, I know you. Hmm. I'm ready. And go. Lip gloss, mini razor, and tiny. <laughs> I put for Paula, she loses everything. Like literally Paula cannot keep track of something for more than like two weeks. Her keys, okay. and I said an eyelash curler because she's Bro. always curling her eyelashes. I'm always curling my eyelashes. Like I look over at Paula, she's curling her eyelashes. She's like taking a dump, she's curling her eyelashes. She's like driving, she's curling her eyelashes. <laughs> I put, I, I don't know if I spelled it right Ready? either. <laughs> Paula's just like always wanted to be a mother. Bro. Having her own fashion brand. Just like a brand in general. I could sell cook, like kitchenware for all <laughs> I care. I just want my own brand. 
Oh, this is easy. And shut. <laughs> Nothing. She'll eat anything. I'll literally <laughs> eat anything, especially if Paula's cooking it. Like, give it to me. It could be like, I could give her dirt. I'll She'd eat it. She'd be like, I'll be like, this is so good, Paula. Veggies, so 110%. And go. Wait, what? <laughs> no. This is what bothers me about you. <laughs> I know. Oh, that, that does bother me about Paula. Like, she leaves her shit everywhere. Like, my room will be perfectly clean. And then after she comes over, like, her shoes are over there, her jacket's over there, her bra is over there, her, like, virginity's over there. But yes, and then another thing that bothers me about her, she's too nice. She's, like, irresponsible sometimes. But you've gotten better. It used to be a lot worse. I cut my hair. Ever since she cut her hair, she's been a lot more responsible. My pet peeve of her. Let me, the list goes on. I can't even write it on the piece of paper. Ready? First off, number one thing that I just like lose my shit over. Let, is let it out, Paul, let it out. Her nails and food. Food gets underneath her nails. Her skin is like still like stained. Bro, I heard like the way that stuff gets underneath her nails and then she's just like chilling. At least my nails are done with your ratchet ass. I'd rather have natural ass hands than food for next week. If you go pour, Look, you okay, put me you have a, Try, Try having long nails like I do and eating with your hands and try not getting food not stuck in them. The point of the matter is, first of all, you're a messy eater and you could you could I have, am a messy Let eater. me tell you something. If Nas were to go homeless, she would have enough food in her nails and hair for the next month. <laughs> and show. <laughs> Kevin Love. P. Diddy Rick Ross. Adam S. Adam Slay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Kevin Love. <gasps> I always bolt it, right? Ready? There's actually vlogs of this. Daytona me! Is that how you spell Daytona? I thought it was like. <laughs> it was so much fun. It was like two years ago. I remember, remember I thought we I fell asleep in the sun. I was literally the color of her shirt. And I had to sit in a car for 16 hours driving from Florida back to Ohio. Oh my goodness. Sunburn. By the way, guys, this is this is how we call the yacht. Paula, I'm so proud of your makeup. It looks so good, you guys. Like her ringed eyeliner, her lashes. So now we're on to the speed round. So we're gonna ask each other six questions and we have to answer them as fast as we can. Ready okay. and go. Where was I born? Bucharest, Romania. What year did I come to America? 19. No. No, 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 2001. 2001. Who do I look up to? 2000. Hada Beauty. Wait, I was wrong too. Oh. We came in 2000. You came you came to America and so did I, December 15th, 2000. Damn, she knew the date and everything. Who do I look up to? Hanabidi. My favorite fruit. Oh my goodness, mango. Uh, what is my go-to like fall winter outfit? Okay, well that's like, easy. I have nothing to wear. Then you would be jeans, usually a bodycon something. <gasps> yeah, a bodycon. Bodycon and then a jacket. Probably make be a bomber, leather, something like that, and then her thigh high boots. Oh, you know me so well. Okay, last question. What sports have I played? The list goes on. Literally. <laughs> Soccer, um, lacrosse. She used to be like a gymnast, dancer, ballet, everything in once. And I was in the swim team. Okay, swim team. That's pretty much it. Oh, I did tennis too. Remember, y'all said that's how y'all tore ACL. All right, this is mine. What's my favorite sport? Soccer. What do I drink most? Coffee. When did I get to America? You were the, you were two, weren't you? One. So 1999. Yeah. What makes me rage? Very few things. When people like get at, like talk shit about your family, like Bro, that's something you don't. That is probably the only Nothing time that you will actually see me. Paula like. never really gets mad. Like she's a very chill person, but I think like when your family comes into play, like you get that like protectiveness. Where was I born? Uh, Colombia, Bogota. There we go. What do I love to do most? Um, write. Yeah. Yeah. That concludes our best friend. <coughs> Sorry. You good? <coughs> so that concludes our best friend tag. Be sure to check out Paula's channel down below and also.
also check out my vlog channel because she's on there a lot as well. All my social medias as well as her social medias will be down below for you guys. So we hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we hope to see you guys again next time. Bye my loves! Ciao mis parceritos. <laughs> what, are, what do you call that? Mis parceritos. What does that mean? It's a Colombian thing. <laughs>